Hey, hi, this is Kasang Maya Keperu for New World Dimensions, and today I want to talk about the concept of implants. Now, implants are like a virus that's introduced to society. And to really understand uh, what an implant is, let me take you back to the term we use called a conditioning or a pattern. Now, a conditioning is something that is on an individual level. It's something that the individual acquires through repeating a certain type of behavior over and over again. That becomes a condition. It's, it's programmed into your subconsciousness. And we usually have a lot of conditions or conditionings which are like, you know, a propensity to getting angry really quick or biting your nails or, or, or becoming nervous when you, you hear a car horn. Uh, those are conditionings that have been acquired, again, through certain life experiences, and they're acquired by the individual. Now, an implant is something more widespread. Now, to really understand the concept of implants, I have to take you back to the 100 Monkey Syndrome. And I actually wrote a little pamphlet on this called The True Cause of Slavery, where I, exp I explore this subject matter in detail. But um, the 100 Monkey Syndrome basically was this. It was these Japanese monkeys that they discovered were washing sweet potatoes. And the scientists who were, or the researchers who were observing this thought this was peculiar how these monkeys learned to um, wash the sweet potatoes. Then they observed some monkeys in an adjacent island, and they found that they were washing those sweet potatoes in the exact same manner. And this is curious because they were separated by water, so how could these two groups of monkeys mimic the same type of behavior? That's when the idea um, came about for non-localization of learning behavior, meaning that um, the type of behavior is transferred referred to the collective unconsciousness and the species or group learns that type of behavior without being in contact with the other group or group A um, does something and group B learns it without having one-to-one -one contact with them. So implant is the exact same thing where you have an idea or a belief system that's interjected to a, a small group of people, let's say 100 people, and actually when it reaches the 100th person, then it starts to transfer into the collective consciousness and all members of that species or group start to mimic that behavior. This is where we get the idea of culture from. You may see like, you know, the East Coast and West Coast are mimicking a certain type of culture even though they really haven't had contact with each other. That's again, um, learn behavior through the collective unconsciousness. So, what happens usually is you'll find with our government who uses implants all the time and advertising agencies, they do this by getting together so-called um, research groups or study groups, have them do a behavior for a certain amount of days, and you'll find that that behavior starts to spread to uh, the population at large. And it's kind of a very devious thing, and again, the government does this using black ops projects to um, get society to operate or think in a certain way, and it's very devious. So when you have a certain conditioning, sometimes it's not you know, brought about by your own individual efforts, but it's by an implant that's been put there. So you're acting in accordance with the group mentality, and it's usually an idea or belief system that is alien and interjected into society at large to get them to comply or get them to adhere to a certain type of doctrine. So that's a little bit about what implants are. And the goal of, of, of you know, our existence here is, number one, overcome our conditioning, our personal conditioning, and number two is to realize that there are implants out there and to deal with them accordingly, okay? So this is, again, Kasakma Keperu with New World Dimensions. That's all for now.